Today we are exploring the serpent and the rainbow in a very limited form. You are watching Oakland Tobacconist. <laughs> If you are interested in Blackworks Studio SNR Limited Production or many other Blackworks and Black Label Trading Company, check us out. You know where to find us. And as usual, as we're always fighting the battle of the social media platform, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to make certain you are being notified whenever we drop a new product or are producing new content. We're going to jump into this and then I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of the background. However, we are reviewing the SNR Robusto by Blackworks Studio. So for those who don't know, Blackworks releases a uh, limited cigar once every quarter around there, roughly, depending on how production goes and scheduling. And for the beginning of 2023, the first limited drop is the SNR. This is a very flavorful cigar. It's very different from what some Blackworks Studio cigars might be like. Without further ado, let's cut into it, let's get this lit up, and let's get first impressions. So you'll notice there is a pigtail on this cigar. Uh, it was very traditional looking. It's an open foot. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a small snip, open that up. Now, as usual, draw is wide open. There's definite sweetness there on the first initial dry draw. Sweetness, uh, earth, very earthy. And maybe a tight, a little bit of saltiness too. Let's go ahead and get that lit up. A little while ago, I put up a uh, small video on our shorts and reels uh, on lighting a cigar. You wanna make certain you keep it far enough away from the flame that you're not gonna scar that wrapper. Cause if you scar the wrapper, you're burning up that tobacco that you've yet to be able to try. So you wanna make certain that you're getting the foot toasted up without burning the wrapper. There's first flavor on it. Wow. Burst of flavor. Retro is really easy. Um, there is maybe baking spice, a little bit of sweetness on the back end. Um, and also like, on, like there's sweetness and there's coffee up front. Strength level seems more medium, uh, full in flavor and full in body. So the SNR stands for Serpent and Rainbow, and it was originally released, I think 2020 was when it was first dropped. However, back then it was not a barber pole. This year, it's a little bit different in blend. It features that same Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, but it has accents of Connecticut running down to give it more of a sweeter, creamier tone to it. Its binder is from Ecuador and its fillers are Dominican and Nicaraguan. So I feel like those Nicaraguan fillers are what's bringing that power, that oomph to it. Um, but that creaminess is coming through on the Connecticut. And Sumatra by nature, I find it to be on the sweeter side, the earthier side. Um, it's kind of like, it's, very, it's a very different flavor profile as Cameroon, but you'll find similar qualities. And I say similar qualities like sweetness and earth. And normally it's wrapped around something that's more in the medium, not always but it can be around more medium side uh, of things. But there's that really good sweetness. Now, Intergalactic was released last year. That was a Sumatra. Far more salty, far more peppery than I'm finding in this. Yeah, definitely maybe a white pepper, but it's more baking spice forward. Um, I get a little bit of that coffiness. Definitely sweet note, earth note. I'm going to also say like, kind of like, that dusty leather, uh, kind of that like dry wood, like very, very dry wood element to it. But I'm really enjoying that like fuller bodied experience while having the, the flavor notes be full and the strength level more medium. So I've paired this with a few things at this point. Um, I have tried it with uh, a coffee, I've tried it with a bourbon. They seem to both do well. I've tried it with a rye. The rye actually seemed to complement the sweetness a bit more. But if you are a bit worried, I would say, about uh, hearing things with Black Label and Black Work, sometimes it can be on the stronger side. This is a definitely an amazing cigar to start with because you have its what it can illustrate the best, that full-flavored, full-bodied, 
but its strength level is not going to kick you out. And I will also say, because I normally enjoy a stronger cigar, what this has to offer is so many satisfying elements, and really, it is, it's got so much flavor going on with it that is very satisfying when it comes to its strength level as well. So this was limited to only three sizes, which is the Robusto, Corona, and a very small production of the Calibra. Calibra is three different cigars rolled into one. I would say the Robusto is gonna pack a bit more punch. The Corona is gonna be a bit more sweet and smooth. But that has been my experience in smoking both of them. If you're curious about the SNR, go ahead and pick it up. Pick up a few to see what that pairing differences are. But once again, it is an excellent barber pole from Blackworks. Once again, a really like home run from James Brown's blending style. And what a way to kick off the first limited for Blackworks. That is Blackworks Studios S&R.